The Creation by James Weldon Johnson Then God stepped out on space and he looked around and he said, I'm lonely. I'll make me a world. Now as far as the eye of God could see, darkness covered everything, blacker than a hundred midnights down in a cypress swamp. Then God smiled and the light broke. The darkness rolled up on one side and the light stood shining on the other and God said, that's good. Then God reached out and he took the light in his hands and he rolled the light around in his hands until he'd made the sun and he set that sun ablazing in the heavens and the light that was left from making the sun God gathered it up in a shining ball and flung it against the darkness spangling the night with the moon and the stars Then down between the darkness and the light he hurled the world and God said That's good then God stopped and looked and saw that the earth was hot and barren. So he stepped over to the edge of the world and he spat out the seven seas. He batted his eyes on the lightning flash. He clapped his hands and the thunders rolled. And the waters above the earth came down. Cooling waters came down. God walked. And where he trod, his footsteps hollowed the valleys out and bulged the mountains up. Then the green grass sprouted. The little red flowers blossomed. The pine tree pointed his finger to the sky. The oak spread out its arms. The lakes cuddled down in the hollows of the ground and the rivers ran down to the sea. And God smiled again when a rainbow appeared and curled itself around his shoulders. Then God raised his arm and he waved his hand over the sea and over the land and he said, bring forth bring forth and quicker than God could drop his hand fishes fowl, beasts birds swam the rivers and the seas roamed the forests and the woods split the air with their wings and God said yes yes that is good then God walked around and he looked around at all that he had made he looked at the sun he looked at his little moon. He looked at the stars. He looked at the world with all his living things. And he said, but I'm still lonely. So God went down by the river where he could think. By a deep, wide river, he knelt down with his head in his hands. God thought and thought until he thought, I'll make me a man. Up from the river, God scooped the clay, and by the bank of the river, he knelt down. And there, there the great God Almighty, who lit the sun and fixed it in the sky, who flung the stars to the most far corner of the night, who rounded the earth in the middle of his hand. This great God, like a mammy, bending over her baby, kneeled down in the dust, toiling over a lump of clay until he shaped it in his own image. And then into it, he blew the breath of life. And man became a living soul.